singing 
ceiling and it was like really romantic and like huge and grand but I love that for you that like you had like a really cute little intimate like little thing is that like what you wanted like was that your vision or oh that's what you wanted oh well that's cute you know it kind of makes sense like it goes with the ring like the little engagement to go with like the little ring that's actually really cute Okay. The nurses talk. So according. 
especially like the doctors like who lays off the doctors <laughs> like you know between me and you like since when do we lay off doctors but you know if they got laid off if they got laid off then I guess is he working? Is he, has he found a job yet? ask my husband to like make a couple of calls for you like I'm sure that he would know someone he like represented a lot of doctors with like malpractice suits and stuff like that so I'm sure that he can find someone to like help you out maybe I'm sure that it wouldn't be a problem I'm sure he wouldn't mind at all you're sure well if you need anything you know what'll find me okay this is so exciting for you. You're gonna be a wife. It's so much fun. Love it. Um, so are you gonna have kids? Are you planning on having kids? Are you what are you are you gonna stay in town? Are you gonna buy a new house? The house that you have right now is so small, like it's not really like made for kids, you know. It's not really like very kidly, you know, it's like barely big enough to fit like the two of you. Like What's your plan exactly? You do want to have kids, okay. Well, if you want to have kids, like I said, you're definitely going to need to buy a new house because that little tiny thing that you're living in, that's like the size of my shoe closet, literally. You've been there, you know. <laughs> tell her, tell her it's the size of my shoe closet. Tell her, tell her. I told you, it's like the size of my shoe closet. Like, you're not going to be able to have any kids in there. Like, if I'm being honest, you know. Um, I can give you the number of my realtor. Oh, absolutely. Consider it another gift from me to you for your wedding. I'm feeling generous this week, so, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. She really does a lot of, like, higher scale, like, listings and, and things like that like more expensive bigger houses but I'm sure she'd be willing to do like a little cute humble like showing for you like I'm sure she wouldn't mind like doing like a little cute something something for you yeah and like your price range and whatnot how full circle is that like a cute little engagement a cute teeny weeny little engagement ring and then a cute little wedding and then a cute little house to go with it like that's just the cutest little family isn't that just the cutest little family tell her it's the cutest little family I guess we should like probably eat something I haven't eaten in like two days yeah I'm on this like new little like diet that my like dietitian put me on it's like heavy fasting you know um, I'm able to consume liquids um, but I'm like really trying to like get really fit and like right for like the little we're going to Bali for the summer yeah so I'm trying to like get really right for that you know so he suggested that I like fast or whatever <laughs> you know like two days so we probably should order something yeah you know, put a little food on my system. I have to, like, pick up my, my daughter from practice right after this. So I probably should, uh, eat something to go along with this bottle. Whenever she makes a round, it's not, like, the most important thing in the world. But, um... So what's going on in everyone else's life? I feel like I'm the only one that's been talking the whole time. I'm literally, like, the glue of this little acquaintance acquaintanceship that we've got going on here. I almost said friendship, but let's be real, none of us actually like each other. Um, what's going on in everybody's life? Who are you? Oh, I like almost didn't see you over there. You're like, you're like kind of invisible. I heard about the divorce that you're doing okay. Oh, please, please tell me you had like some sort of burnout agreement or something like that you know like a prenup or something something that like guaranteed you a little something something don't tell me he left you high and dry oh you divorced him why 
because he cheated. Please get with the times. We're all cheating. Everybody's cheating. My husband's cheating on me. I'm cheating on him. It happens. That's no reason to divorce someone over. I mean, you just like fumble the back. Really? I mean, I guess if it's not like important to you. I guess. So like, what are you going to do? Or you're going to move back in with your parents? Ooh. How old are you? Like 45? Oh, you're 20. 20 like what? Like 20 plus 10? Oh, you're just 20? Like on the dot? Really? What Do you tan or something? Okay, SBF is our friend. Let's use it. I, I thought you were like 50 years old. I'm not even joking. I mean, that's good for you. Restart your life. Like, woohoo. Love that for you. But like, I also hate it for you. Um, any, anybody else? Like, somebody else, please. Are you gonna have an engagement party? Oh, you're not gonna have an engagement party. Are you sure? It's like a great way to like get gifts. Oh yeah, I had an engagement party. We had one in Spain in the same cathedral. We like really kept it like, you know, here. And we flew out a couple of our family members and a lot of people like sent gifts and it was like really romantic. You should really consider it. Yeah. Goodness, you guys are incredibly boring. All the way there. Yes. Hi, we would like to order. Yes, something to eat. Um, I really should put something on my stomach. I think I'll do Do you guys have soup? 